talk while I'm on my on my way to the gym. Turn the camera here. Just while I'm on the way to the gym. So uh, it's a little bit about me, I guess, since this is really the first video. Um, name's Jordan Collins. I'm from a little sleepy town in Oklahoma. Eight thousand people. Not very interesting. Uh, we want anything to do. We go to a, a small city called Fort Smith. Forty-eight thousand people. So I live out in the country. There's not very much around to do here other than work out and get in trouble. Um, let's see, I graduated Poto High School, went to college one year, stopped. Um, I'm taking a semester break and then I'm going back in this coming spring semester at our little JUCO in our hometown. Carl Albert State College. It's pretty much 13th grade, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And my first year, I went to University of Arkansas, Fort Smith, and it just didn't work out. I won't go into details, but it just didn't work out. So I'm here now. And I don't guess that's just a bad thing. I learned a lot, so I think it's good. But Let's see, I have three brothers, all of them older, I'm the baby. Uh, my mom's a teacher, my dad works at the factory that I work at. Uh, he's an ex-police officer, he's got a purple heart. Uh, got shot in the leg in 94 maybe, it was before I was born. Um, let's see. Anything else notable? Oh, uh, my brother's a twin brother, and the other two brothers are my half brothers, and they're twins. We just got a different mom. Uh, a lot of people think that's pretty cool that my dad married two women, had twins with both women, and none of us look like our moms. We all look just like our dad. So, I guess you could say he's got the genes in family, but I don't know. So, it's a pretty awkward first video starting out. <laughs> not even looking at the camera because I'm having to drive but let's see I'm trying to think you know uh, I grew up in Worcester Oklahoma a lot of years until uh, I was about 11 and I went to school at Hodgen which is even smaller than Worcester Worcester is probably about I don't even know if it's a thousand people it's barely a town like and when I say barely a town I mean like barely a town um, and Hodgen is literally a gas station and a propane stop and a school and nothing else like I'm not kidding like you blink you miss it it's on the way to uh, gosh I can't even think of it Cedar Lake State Park and nobody knows where that is I went there from grade 6 from pre-k to 6th grade and then I moved to Poto, High, Poto Middle School and repeated sixth grade. Because I was, shoot, I was a small kid. And I just said, nothing I can do, so. All right, for some reason I was editing the video and I cut out like, I don't know, six minutes worth of content. But from where I left off and where it cut, on accident because I'm editing on my phone because I don't have a computer that I can do that on. Um, I need my glasses, but I don't know where they are. Oh, well, forget it. So what I was talking about was that I repeated sixth grade and I did that for a couple reasons. I was really small. Um, in the grade that I was in, I was the youngest. So like I was, can't even remember how old I was in sixth grade, but Let's say I was 11 years old and they were 12, some of them 13. I was really young. And, uh, which I don't remember how old I was. It's been crap, I don't know. Six years at least, seven years maybe. I don't know. But I was really small, so my parents held me back for sports because I played baseball with a lot of guys that were in the lower grade that were in fifth grade when I was in my first year of sixth grade. So when I got held back, I was in their grade. So it worked out because I played travel ball with them. 
I enjoyed that. I played a lot of years with him and made my best friend, Kate Smith. And if he ever sees this, I'm sure he'll make fun of me for making vlogs and other things. Um, but that's why I got held back. And then after I graduated middle school, I went to, uh, and I got a big old mountain right there. I went to uh, Poto High School and uh, that's an interesting place. I started driving my freshman year because remember when I said I was the youngest? Well, when I got held back, it made me the oldest. So I was driving before everybody. Took drivers out in eighth grade. And it was an awkward time. Freshman, sophomore year. Uh, weird. Not something that I recommend on anybody doing, but everybody has to do it, you know. You have to go through phases where you are awkward and you really don't know what you're doing in your life, you know. But I digress. So it's, high school was fun. I enjoyed it. I played a lot of sports. I played basketball, baseball. I played football up to my junior year, and then I quit before season started because I just didn't like the sport anymore. And right there is actually my uh, senior picture they gave me, and I've got we took our team two years in a row to state, which had never been done before. We lost out first round. Can't win them all. But we had good seasons, 25 and 10 my senior year. Um, I loved, loved sports. I play a lot of sports. I play beach volleyball right now. I play court volleyball when I can, when I'm not working. So pretty much just on the weekends and uh, when I'm not working on a weekend. Uh, and I work out. I love it. Working out's fun. Today was chest day. So I did bench, machine press, dumbbell press, tricep dips, tricep pull downs, tricep extensions, you know, chest and tries, just a normal workout. Um, I weighed 130 pounds when I started, I weigh 170 now after nine months, 40 pounds gained, it's ridiculous, I was really underweight. Um, let's see, got a tattoo. The day I got saved, my favorite verse, and of course the cross. And I plan on getting a tattoo on this arm. Um, my brother's getting a tattoo too with me. So his first one and my second one will be together. We're both doing sleeps. I think it'll be fun. Um, just, I don't know. It's kind of weird um, to think about vlogging and talking about to a camera to people who might watch it or might subscribe to my channel or might enjoy something that I'm doing. It's definitely different, but it's something I'm willing to try. I think it'll be fun. It just really depends on how like I edit it, you know? And that's the hard part, considering that I just cut out like maybe eight minutes worth of me talking about stuff, like working out. And I just cut it out because I don't know how to edit anything. like at all but mm, shouldn't have trimmed the original let me learn right well, anyway i think i'm gonna cut back to a couple of videos i took while i was working out and then it'll switch back to me earlier today post-workout talking about it all right so you'll enjoy that Alright, so that workout was pretty good. Uh, I'm dead after it, I'll tell you that. I did, since I'm working by myself, my max bench is 225. So I don't do really percentages, I do really like what I feel that day. I probably should do percentages, but I figure that's too much math for me. And, uh, so I just warmed up with the bar, you know, did 10 reps of just 45 pounds and then put 25s on and then put 10s onto that and then fives and then went up to 45 and then I just stopped at 135. I don't really figure that going that higher weight uh, would be beneficial to me since I'm only alone and I don't have a spotter. So really any weight above 135, I like to have a spotter considering only I just don't really trust it. So I did that. Three sets of 10 
and then I went to peg deck and then I went three sets of 12 at 110 pounds or 115 I can't remember with that little plus five lever that they've got on the machine then I went to a dumbbell bench and did I think it was 50 on each hand and then I did dumbbell press dumbbell bench press on that and did three sets of 10 on that and then I went to gosh I can't think then I went to uh, tricep pull downs yeah and I did four sets of 15 at 70 pounds and that was triceps are probably my favorite workout because I like the way it makes my arm look and uh like it was a good workout today like it had me gassed but I pushed through it I mean I definitely got that I think it's called a uh, something hyper like hypertension or I can't remember it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger does it when he does his bicep curls he does it to the point of ex exhaustion then goes more and it causes your muscle to build faster I guess I'm not really sure how it works but if Arnold does it, I'm sure it's good. So, um, went and after the tricep pull downs, I went to, uh, I just did tricep dips after that. And then I went to tricep extensions and did 35 pounds on that and did four sets of 15. And then I went and did push ups till exhaustion as my final workout. And I did, I think it was like, 46 before I finally couldn't get up anymore after a whole day of chest. Oh, I did machine press too. Three sets of 10. That was after pec deck. Yeah. And then for 40 something, I think 46. I don't know. I can't remember. It was that. I feel like that's a pretty good workout for me today. And now I'm headed to get gas because my gas guys on the cruise especially when I drive 100 miles every day. But, yeah, it was a pretty good workout. I enjoyed it. I took a couple videos while I was in there. Um, yeah, I had a good time. There wasn't very many people in the gym. There was just a couple people, so I didn't have to wait on any machines, so that was nice. And uh, nobody talked to me, which was also nice. And it is September 11th today. So... I wasn't, I was two years old, well, three years old when that happened and really can't say that I remember it, but I know it was a bad deal. A lot of people lost their lives due to a couple of misled, corrupted individuals. Very sad story, really is. But. So now I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I've got till 2.45, it's nine o'clock now, or 8.51. I didn't work out quite an hour either. I wanted to work out an hour, and my workouts went faster than expected. I don't know what the deal was, but I don't really dislike the fact. So, uh, now I gotta figure out, I think I'm on home, because I got food at the house. I'm gonna eat some Mexican casserole my mom made oh still live at home while I make some saving some money I don't think it's a bad thing for me to live at home I mean it has its disadvantages of course but it also has its advantages as in I get more money for myself uh, it's all right it's not bad it really isn't I mean I, I still get to see my family every day so Trying to figure out I gotta figure out how to edit this video and hopefully it's not gonna turn out too bad because this will be my actually first one because I might edit it today which I don't know how it's gonna work I hope it works out good I'm gonna have to take some friends who've been making some YouTube videos how they edited theirs uh, and god it's I'm exhausted. 
Like, I'm exhausted. I can barely turn my wheel on my car. I don't think I've been this gassed in a long time. I know it's been it's been a week since I worked out last. At least a week. And I haven't went a consecutive day. And I couldn't tell you how long. Probably several months. And it's been, oh, it's been rough. Like, I don't know what the whole deal was for me. But me working out has been really kind of a release for me since I don't play sports in college. And I mean, I play beach volleyball, but it's not really like a, you know, like a, a club sport. I mean, I play on a team and we're pretty good, but I don't know. I might video some of that. Wouldn't be a bad vlog stuff. Beach, so who knows? I'm pretty excited for this channel. It's going to be fun for me if I can figure out how to edit it. That's the one thing that's going to bother me is I really don't know how to edit anything. And this is going to be a skill set I'm going to have to build. So I know nobody's going to watch this at first. And if you do, hell yeah, brother. I appreciate it. I really do. But if you don't, that's fine too. I ain't going to be upset. I'm just kind of doing this to like... I don't know if somebody finds it and they want to watch it and find it interesting that's fine too i'm gonna to be definitely doing more uh than just mundane working out videos uh because i don't want to be just that type of channel i want to be a vlog channel too but i work during the week so the only time i'll be able to do anything fun is on saturdays and sundays so and those times i'm usually playing volleyball tournaments so i think those would go hand in hand for videos together uh, I don't know. I'm gonna get some B-roll for the camera. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. If there's any of you watching. And if there is a second video, if I ever get this edited. And we'll see. Alright, peace out guys. Have fun.